Hi, this is Ted Pattison with another video in the Fast Break with Power BI Desktop video series. In this video, we'll look at creating lookup tables using DAX. In our scenario, we're creating a report to show how many customers there are per state. And so far, we've added a slicer so users can basically look at individual years to see where the new customers came from in that particular year. If I take a quick look at the data behind, you can see we're pulling customer data and we have things like geographic information inside there. If I take a look at our data model, we've added one measure, which is customer count. Now, what we'd like to do is we'd like to take each of the states and assign them to one of three sales regions. We have a Western sales region, a Central sales region, and an Eastern sales region, and we want states to be assigned and we want to be able to roll up aggregate totals by sales region inside. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add a new table using DAX. So I'll come here and we're going to click not on new measure, not on new column, but new table. Now when I click on new table, we're going to create a table and we give it its particular name here. Let me go ahead and add some code into the formula bar and we have this data table function. Now when you call data table, you pass a pair of parameters for each column. So we want to add a column named state. It's based on a string. State name based on a string. Sales region. And note that for each column name that you have to use one of these predefined types. So I'm using string for all of mine. Now if I type in AK and that is for Alaska and then we type in Alaska and then we type in Western region and hit enter. You, know, you can see that we've added one row of data into our new table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple more line breaks. So notice that I'm going to put each row on its own line and all the rows except for the very last one need a comma behind it inside there. So now you've seen the basic makeup of the data table function. Let me copy and paste the entire 50 state table inside there. So let's go ahead and look at relationship view. So now we've added this new sales region table into our data model. And there is a one to many relationship for each state. There are many different customers that come from that state. So to create the relationship, I'm going to grab state from customers on the many side and drag it onto the unique state field. And that creates the one to many relationship inside there. Let's go back to report view and notice that I could pull sales region and state name from the sales regions table. But for various reasons, it's going to be beneficial for us to pull sales region and state name into the customers table. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go back to the customers table and add two calculated columns. So I'll click on new column. First one is going to be sales region. And note that we can use the related function. And the beauty of using the related function is that when you are on the <clears throat> many side, it shows you only options for a relationship to a one side, such as sales region inside here. So once we've added sales region, we'll add a second column. This one will be for the state name. And with the state name, once again, we will use the related function and we will pull the state name inside there. Now, once I move back to report view, note that since I can see sales region and state name inside the customers table, we don't really need the sales regions table. So we still have it in our data model, but we can hide it so we don't have to look at it in report view. Now, one benefit of pulling everything back into a single table is that you might have a hierarchy. For instance, if I take sales region and I want to make that the top of a hierarchy, I can now take state name. And with state name, first of all, just like state, let's go ahead and categorize that so that it is a state or province. Notice that state name now gets a little globe underneath it. I'm going to take state name. I'm going to drag it on top of sales region inside there. And notice that that builds a hierarchy for me. I can take this hierarchy and give it a better name, such as uh, customer geography. Uh, and now that we have that inside there, note that I could also take city and drag it on top of the hierarchy to add it inside there 
and zip code and drag it on top of the hierarchy to add it inside there. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use the hierarchy in this demo, but the two things I want to show is that if we now go back to this particular map where we were showing just the abbreviated state and we get rid of state and replace it with state name, okay, well, that helps. And then second, let's go ahead and add a new slicer. So I'm going to add a new slicer. And so I'll take this slicer and we'll move it over here. And with this particular slicer, uh, we're going to change it from looking at the year to now looking at the sales region. Now I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider to make it work. But now what we're able to do is click on sales region and I can see the eastern region, I can see the western region, and I can see the central region. Now here's the problem. The one last problem is I don't like the order of the way that the sales regions are listed. So from a company history, we started on the west and then we moved into the central region, then the eastern. So I want to always show Western region first. So how are we going to accomplish that? Well, I think one idea would be, let's create a lookup table with DAX. Now I'm going to go back to data view. I'm going to click on new table one more time. So now we're going to create a second table and this table will simply be a lookup table with sort codes inside there. So as I create this, let me hit the enter key. You can see for each particular sales region, we've assigned a sort order of one, two, or three. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go back to the model one more time. Now here's where your intuition might be telling you to join sales region sort to sales region. We don't need to do that. All we're really interested in is affecting the customer's table as it loads. So we'll create a relationship between the sales region here and the sales region inside here. Now that we have done that, we're going to go and we're going to add a new column. So we're going to go back into the customers table. We're now going to add a new column and this one is going to be the sales region sort. And once again, we'll use the related function. And this time when we use the related function, we're going to pull the sort order inside. Now, first thing is, this is a column I would never want to show in report view. So let's go ahead and we will hide it in report view. But now let's also go to sales region. And here's the trick. In fact, let's do this while we're in report view. So at this point, you can kind of see that it's still sorted the old way with central region first. So I'm going to go ahead and select sales region. And when I select sales region, now I can go to the sort by column. And we're going to go ahead and pick sales region sort. And now that we've done that, now we have the sort order that we want with Western region first and then central region and then Eastern region. And how do we do that? We did that by creating two different lookup tables using DAX. Once again, this is Ted Pattison. I'd like to thank you for watching and leave you with a call to action. If you want to join a great, passionate group of smart people, come join us at pbiug.com, the Power BI user group. If you're looking for hands-on training, come visit us at criticalpathtraining.com, home of Power BI Bootcamp and Power BI Developer Bootcamp.